okay guys in this video tutorial we will learn that how we can recognize an image with that of a second image using correlation within the MATLAB for it first of all we need to write guide that is the graphical user interface development environment we will click on create new GUI and we will press ok now GUI window is in front of us now we will choose a heading for a suitable visual graphics here we will change the font size to 16 font weight from normal to bold and static text from image recognition using correlation also we will change its background color to black and foreground color to blue and now now we will take one push button the first push button we will press ctrl c and ctrl v to get our second push button and ctrl v for third push button now we will also take one axis for to display image and second axis for to display the second image and third for to display third image now we will drag these buttons here and we will arrange our axis on the top like this you can use your arrow keys to move these axis left to right and right to left push button 1 is for this axis push button 2 is for this axis and push button 3 is for this axis now we will first we will run it for to save it image record is the name of our file now we will save it now as you can see that we have our GUI editor and also the backend code how to go to our backend code we will right click on this push button we will go to callback then we will click callback and here we are within the function now whatsoever you will write here you can whatsoever like you if you want to put some sort of coding in this function when the button will be pressed when the push button one will be the press will 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 be pressed the whole code is going to execute like here we will simply we can say that t is equal to or simple t is equal to m read of okay now what it is m read is a function for to read the image so where is our image we will go and we will see it in thumbnails we have our test pick test pick one and test pick two we will right click on it sorry left sorry right click then we will go to properties and here it's a link or location copy it press ctrl c and we will go to our our image read function then after its link pasting you need to copy it name and type as well test pick is its name and dot png is its type so we will do the same ctrl v and dot png now we will write m show of t and also axis handles dot axis one handles dot axis one what 
this command will do it will show your image within the axis one rather than going towards second axis or third axis so now we will run it and either we will see that it will it is going to work or not so yeah it works okay now for second like uh, for for to read the second image we again need to go to the editor we will click on this push button we will go to the callback and we will copy all these things control c and control v in this in the call back of this push button too now we will write because our test pick after test pick png file we have test pick one png file dot png file so we will read it we will write here handles dot exist two and this is t1 and m show of t1 because all the image is read and stored inside this t1 then m show command will display it in the particular axis so push button one and push button two here i made some change in this image so that one can see that what is the correlation between this and this and this one so third for third one we need to go to the push button three we will go to callback and here we will also paste all these things like a t2 test pick one so test pick two dot png this is three because we want to display it in the axis three and here we will write t2 then we will run it we will push this button and here you can see that all the images are shown here now we will go towards uh, or we will create one more push button for correlation or we will double click on it we will write here in string we will write here co relation <coughs> now we will see that either it is okay or not so it is our correlation button and this is our edit box we will double click on it we will like this and we will press cross now what correlation will do if we will go to callback also because we cannot because all the functions are private they are not the public so that is why we need to declare all the variables is global global t2 so that we can fetch its value and here global t1 and and here global t global t okay now okay now we will go to our correlation function okay where it is yes in push button 4 it is for correlation so what we will do we will write global you also need to declare all the function here that is global t1 global t2 global t2 because uh, you, you 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 need to do all this okay so global t global t1 global t2 okay now we have all these so 
we will use a variable that is e and we will write correlation of two okay of t comma t1 and we will see that what will be the value press push button one two and three 